Got it? My teacher, he let me play this for like two days before he showed me. Yeah. He didn't even showed me anything else. You know? was like, I was like, okay, can I play something else now, please? You know? My teacher is not here anymore. Alajimba left us. Solo Sitoko also left us. So all like not all the great masters are gone, but they were very important. Both Solo and Alaji were very, very important teachers and, and uh, ambassadors of the Kora. And now when they are not here, like we are under them. So now we have to step up. <laughs> It's um it's about a fighter, Kelofa is fighter. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was a very famous fighter. And uh, he's been like fighting in many villages mm -hmm. and now he was heading towards his wife wife's village mm -hmm. and the wife was nervous because she didn't want her husband to go and kill all the people in her childhood village like all her family and friends mm -hmm. were there so and she told them all these fighting secrets so when he came to to that village they killed him okay so, yeah. so it's one of their stories yeah, yeah. <laughs> Griot is like uh, a bibliotheque of story. If the village, like the king, need message to be heard, he called the, he say it to the Griot, and the Griot will transfer, like to say it to everybody, like louder. This is, hey, tomorrow the king say this and this and this, we're gonna meet into this place. So if it's conflict at the village, if something is government is not right or something is not going well, the grill have a role to say it and to, 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 to sing it. Bringing that good harmony. You have the role of being a grill. That is the name of that of that role, the griot role. And you get born to it. It's not that everyone is jolly, no. Cannot be. It became very few family, family names, like Sisoko, Chebate, Kuyate. Alltså man märkte ju, hon gick ju från stationen och hem. Och det första man hörde av henne, alltså man hörde på lång väg att här, nu kommer Susu och det är någon som sjunger. Det var hon som sjöng då. Mm. Så att de har ju alla tre barnen har ju liksom stor talang men hon har gjort någonting av det mer än de andra har gjort. Ja, så omständigheterna har gjort att det har funkat liksom.
take the breath deep down in your stomach. So I was studying Swedish folk music. So we went around on this Spelmanstemmer, like it's a festival, you can say, with Swedish folk music. And I was having my kora with me because I played the kora. But then my father knew the organizer of one of those festivals that I was going to. And then he told me like, yeah, but ask him if, if you can play at the festival. So I sent the email and then he replied like, yeah, it's already full booked, you know, but anyway. And I was like, yeah, okay, but just so you know, I'm here with my Cora in case, you know. And then like when I was on my way to the festival, he called me. Yeah, it's a band from Australia and they canceled their show. Can you take their slot on Sulsen and uh, one o'clock tomorrow? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, this <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> And on the same festival was Maher's brother, Solo Sisoko. So at the opening ceremony, I went backstage to say hello to him and introduce myself. And I was like, yeah, I'm Susu and I'm learning the Kora. And uh, yeah, I'm having a concert tomorrow. If you want to come, you're welcome. <laughs> so then, yeah, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, okay. And then on my concert, I saw him in the audience and he was like my biggest star, you know, a big Kora star, really famous and I really loved his music and yeah, so I was really, wow, my God, Solo Sisoko is here and, you know. And then he stood up and he was clapping his hands and making everybody in the audience clap their hands and he was like so supportive and so, so happy and, you know, and I was so proud and it was like a big moment and all my Swedish folk music friends were there and they were also big fans of him, so it was all like, wow, you know. <laughs> After the concert he came and he was so full of energy and like, yeah, very good, you know, you have to keep on vidare, vidare, come on, you have to play kora, you have to play, 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 you know, work on the attack and yeah, and you can come to, to Siginshore, you know, in Senegal anytime and you just take the taxi to Siginshore and then just ask anybody where I live and you can just come anytime and they will know where, you, where I live. And I said, yeah, okay, I'm coming. This was August 2004. And then I just came into the door and I saw Mars' parents were sitting there. And uh, I introduced myself, hello, I'm Susu from Sweden and uh, I met Solo in Sweden and he said that I could come here and learn the Kora. And they didn't know anything about it, <laughs> so they were like, oh yeah, welcome, come. And then I went to listen to when they play the Kora and they just passed around the Kora and everybody played like so well that I was thinking like, wow, this is, this must be Kora heaven. <laughs> and Solo was not there, so I was, it was a little bit confusing because he was, I was thinking that he was going to be there. But then he wasn't, so it was a little bit like, uh, is this okay? Like, uh, am I okay just jumping in here into this world famous family of Kora players? And, yeah, so I was a little bit nervous, you can say. That time I was like more, more, more wild, I think. <laughs> now I'm a little bit calm down, you know, so. And then Maher came and he took my bags and he put them in his other brother's room. Uh, and then we met there in the door. Like when I was going in the room and he was going out of the room. And then, yeah. It was just like, hmm, <laughs> like something. Uh, yeah, I, I just took her bag and put uh, put her room, and then I think from the door door we get oh nice, I just happy and feel. 
<laughs> okay, feel comfortable. And, uh, and from that, I think we get that connection, that the love come, come directly from, okay. They had a party and we were going to the party and it was dark. And I was, I think I was wearing high heels for some reason. And in these sandy roads, it's really difficult to walk with high heels. And we were walking to the party together. So then we were holding hands so that I could walk in the sand with my high heels. <laughs> if, if you hold the hand, I think you feel like, okay. If it's positive feeling you get, so, you feel that direct, directly. I mean, it took a while because we didn't, I didn't want to destroy anything in the family or like my relationship with people in the family. So it was a little bit sensitive at first, like when we realized that, oh, we have something going on here. So before we told anyone, we went to the Gambia so that we could realize what was going on without showing everybody. But before that, Mari said, yeah, no, we cannot get involved with each other too much. But then, like, and then when we met in Gambia, then suddenly he was like, yeah, but or maybe we should get married. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> you just said, you know, that we're not going to... And then I said, yeah, but now I think it's better we get married. You can think about it for three days. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Okay, you give me three days. Yeah, I want your answer on Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> you know? Because it's a lot of disappointment and it's a lot of, you know. So I was, I, I, so I just want to be, I just want to, I don't want to play around so much, you know. And I just want to be serious, yeah to try to be serious in a relation. And, and yes, and that what, that's why I give her that, that, <laughs> that deadline. <laughs> the, the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was thinking about it for three days and I was reading uh, Tuesdays with Morris. It's a book, very good book my friend gave me. Just, yeah, so I was reading that book and it's about somebody who, who, who's gonna die. You have a disease and he's gonna die and he's thinking about life and what life is about and you know. And yes, yeah, so I was reading that book and I was doing my hair. So I was just sitting in one place and reading and thinking. And I was also preparing, like I was preparing for a wedding because I wanted to, to feel how I was feeling about that. So I ordered a wedding dress <laughs> from the tailor, because then I was thinking like, okay, if I make a wedding dress, then I will feel that this is wrong, if this is wrong. So then we went back to the family and then we told them like, okay, yeah, we are serious and we want to get married. But then Mari's father said, no, you cannot get married because uh, your parents have not uh, accepted Maher. Det gick ju väldigt snabbt. Vi fick också ett telefonsamtal. Hej, någon kommer att ringa er och prata på engelska. För Mahers far, han vill liksom höra med er. <clears throat> om, om, liksom det, om det här är okej okay, eller, eller så. Han vill inte 
var inblandad i någonting som, som är mot er vilja och sådär. Så det kommer någon att ringa och prata engelska. Och det är inte han då, utan han, vi ska prata med en som ringer. Och så förklarar han för Majas pappa och, och sådär. Så, och det var liksom... Han ringde ju några minuter efter, så vi hade inte mycket förberedelse tid. family have his own way to play. Before my generation, it was my brother's generation, Solo, who passed away right now. He, he started with another, another way of playing. He make it the chorus sound with the bass, the chorus sound with the guitar, and the drum together. We see that. Uh -huh, this could be possible. This sound is it's nice. And now we also f feel that. So my generation today, I cannot play like my brothers, the way they play. And I cannot play the way my father play. I cannot, yeah. But I still know, I still feel it, the way they play. And I know that I have that too. And me, I find another way of playing the instrument with the other culture, like the other influence. Traditional music in Sweden and Senegal, Gambia, Mali has a lot of similarities. But then some songs can be rhythmically in another way. I call it hearing it upside down. Because like you hear the one in the wrong place. You think the one, because here they don't think one, two, three, four, one, two, three. It's more like a flow of music, and you have other like this, the clave. So I decided quite early that I was not going to confuse myself with trying to find the one. I just said to myself, okay, let me do it the way they do it, you know?
Thank you so much for watching. My name is Matthias Olsen and I'm the director and producer of the film you just saw. Campfire Stories is totally funded only by the people who actually watch the films. So if you feel like you want to join that family and enable us to keep going, please consider a visit to our Patreon page. There's a link below. And please know that even a donation of one or two dollars a month, it adds up and makes a really, really big impact for us. Uh, it, it is what makes us be able to continue doing this. So thank you so much for considering that. And um, secondly, you can also subscribe to, the, to our Campfire Stories YouTube page by clicking the thing right here. Thank you.